Hello, it's good to have you join us again for your favorite program coming to you from NTA2 Lagos Network Center. And we know that uh, we try to reach out to you from this channel so that we can reconnect and then renew our obligations as citizens of this country and how the dreams all of us have about Nigeria can become a reality. Today again, we decided to bring into the studio yet another distinguished Nigerian. Um, incidentally, I should say to you that he is even more distinguished in several ways, in the sense that uh, besides the fact that he's on the street trying to protect citizenship, he's also in the house of worship trying to say to us that, uh, well, if you have reverence for the, creators, for the creator of the world, then we can have fears and um, affection for each other. So we are therefore looking at that aspect of our growing up, that aspect of our communal living. How secured are you in your neighborhood? How secured are we across the country? How law-abiding are we when it comes to rules and regulations? Who actually is going to bail the cat if uh, things are not going right? These are very salient questions that we must ask ourselves as citizens. It is, these are questions we must ask ourselves even about leadership and, of course, followership. So you're going to sit down with us and um, be sure to have your paper and your pen that you can ask all the questions from our distinguished guests. Um, I'm not sure if my producer has any short bio on him, but what I will do is this. So we'll first take a break, and then we will come back. I will share with you what I know about him. Incidentally, he's my brother, in a sense. Well, we don't look at the names. If you look at the names, you may not get it right. So, okay. So, just stay with us, and then we get to meet this distinguished and young Nigerian and what he's trying to do about role, well, role modeling, saying to us, all of us can actually make sure that this country is secured and is safe for us to grow as citizens. Stay with us, or we shall be back. We must dilate the eyes, we look for the phone. They have cataracts, look at the back of the eyes, they have glaucoma, you know, to do a full work up for them. You will remember the giant stripe they will make the eyes. You will, you will remember with nostalgia. We're going to be looking deeper than we ever looked in before mm -hmm. to ensure that um, we, we close all the locals every edition is an arresting conversation with distinguished nigerians from various strata of the society bearing their minds on how we can realize the nigeria of our dreams join us live on close flow monday every week here on NT2 Lagos Network Center. Close flow. The conversation is about you. All right. Um, thank you for staying with us. Um, incidentally, my guest, like I said to you, is my brother. But before letting you know how brotherly he is, I should just say this, that um, educationally, he grew up here in Lagos, grew up in some parts of Nigeria, as far as Bauchi. That, that's, that's quite interesting. That was the time when Nigeria was quite... Uh, well, okay, we'll come back to that, okay? As far as Bauchi, then, of course, um, schooled also at Ibadan. They decided to... He did not uh, do... Andrew's style of disappearing from Nigeria. He just went abroad to go and, well, hone his uh, educational skills to get a master's degree, okay, two master's degree actually, before coming back home. Now, what is important here today is that we have with us the chairman of the Lagos State Police Public Affairs Police. Community Relations Committee. Police Committee. PCRC. Yes. Police, Police Community, Community Relations, Relations Committee. Committee. PCRC. You're welcome to Close Floor. Thank you very much for inviting me. And can good morning they, to viewers. Can you show me more? Like I said to you, it's my brother, so forget about the names. 
<laughs> yes, my name is Fola Martins, but Kenny Shremo is my brother. We'll talk about that in the course of this program, how brotherly he has been and how supportive he is when it comes to raising consciousness on our duties as citizens. Now, let's come to the table. Yes. This is a serious matter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we, we talk about are, security. Yes. Security we are is very important. Yes. It's about life. Yes. It's about hope. It's about the country. So we talk about security, we talk about the community. And when you say police and the community, that's life we are talking about. How do you live a life and be happy about the life you live? Hmm. And that's that, the basis, that's the fundamental. Okay, now, uh, it is said that security is everybody's business. So, is that what you're saying also, that security is everybody's so, business? See, you have a child born today. Yes. The aspiration of the parents that they want that child to live. Yes. Not only to live, to live well, not only to live well, to grow and be something. Yes. If the child is not secured from birth till age one, till age two, age three, age four, and so on, chances of living well, chances of getting his aspiration, his or her aspiration is, hmm. is, is, um, is, is slim. So security, I'm only using that as say to the least, the youngest, to the oldest. Somebody who is old in the age of 90 should be secure too. So everyone that lives on this planet Earth must first of all consider his security. And what are we talking about? We are not saying that we should all have security, people carrying guns, yes. people carrying this around us as we drive, and that's even not security. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that too. Okay, now, so let, let's, let's um, bring it to the street level. Okay, so when you say security, uh, one thing that Nigerians seem to be uh, noted for right now is this sense of entitlement that um, I should be secured on the street, I should be secured in my neighborhood, I should be secured in the community, so therefore I can provide the kind of security I want. Science is, is, is entitlement or right or what, I don't know the word you want to use. I wouldn't see it like that. It is uh, an innate thing. Okay. It's a must for every individual to be secured. Secured consciously in yourself first. For example, security and safety goes together. Let me give you that. Okay. Because that's the same. You don't leave fire in your house, you are cooking, and go and sleep. Mm. Mm. Nobody is coming to tell you. Go and turn it off. Go and turn it off. If you are feeling dizzy, you want to sleep, you have drunk, you maybe you take some, I don't know what you have taken. Yes. And you're feeling dizzy, and you go and put on your stove, or, your or gas. put on your gas, and put on the light I want to cook, and you s go to the sitting room and you start to sleep. You are not, you are not safe, you are not secure. Secured. And not only you, everyone around you. Oh. Now, let me say this. Immediately, there is a challenge for you. Let me. We are the, uh, yes, and that, and there is space, and there is and there is um, smoke coming out of your house. The next person should call. Should start to bang your door hmm. and call the attention and see what he can do. If it's not, he too or she is already a victim. becoming a victim. So these are things. So this comes to say that security comes from you. Your consciousness comes from your concept of making myself and my environment secure and safe as safe um we want to you bring some money you go to bank collect some money and you keep the money put in your car roll down and you are just phoning some people are passing and coming you are talking you open it you're not secure you, are not, you don't need a policeman to come and tell you that this is wrong you don't need to say a suicide to come and tell you. You don't need a pastor to come and tell you. You are not secured. So you put the money in your boot and lock, but you put it on, the, on your make unconsciously. So there must be consciousness in every person to want to be secured, to want to know how do I secure myself in every situation. Not only in every situation. Because if you leave a situation out, mm. it may be dangerous. Eventually. Eventually. Maybe that small opening that you have created unconsciously that creates a problem for you. 
Okay, um, I'm not sure I mentioned to our viewers, um, Apostle Kende Shuemimo also, like I said, is a man of the scriptures. So let, let's come back to something again about security that seems to be lacking here. We are now in the era of artificial intelligence, we are in the era of digitalization, we are in the era of um, uh, ICT, but Nigeria seems to be analog bound. We, we, we are still chasing arm robbers on the streets, we are still knocking at doors of cars, you know, we are, I mean, the manual and uh, as it were, uh, almost uh, uh, uneducated way we do our own security that is maintaining law and order on the street. And are, are you not worried about that? Oh, thank you very much for that question. I'm a man of reality. Yes, in the advanced world, you are having all this we have said, digitalized system, circuit, circuit um, close, camera uh, close, camera, close camera system, all these things are there, they produce them. So they can afford in the city of London to have all the cameras in this world everywhere. Because they produce they them. They produce them there. But if you are going to buy even few of them, you are going to buy them at, with your hard currency, they are going to buy them with a lot of money, so to speak. Some of these things are not readily available to us. It's not saying that we should not get them. That's not to say yes. that. But that within the context of what we have first, what we can afford first, those basic things that we can do first, we should do those. We should, do, we should start with that. Then we we'll gradually move to the next stage, gradually move to whatever stage. If you want to have cameras in Lagos, for instance, for instance, and we want to have a central place, which I think we have now. Yes. The start the Lagos State started, let me Abuja did the same. Yes. Lagos State did the same. And some other states, I think Delta State not, did the same. You can start with few ones. Where you can get some black spots mm. and put cameras mm. there mm. and mm. and monitor those areas as State. a pilot scheme. And gradually add to it. But while you are doing that as they are doing now, that will be complementary part of the manual. That must still be being used. That must be, that must go along with it, and gradually, when we see okay, let's add more, let's add more until we get to the stage. Of course, we don't have to lose sight of the fact that maintenance of those ones that you have gotten is also important. So you may end up having ten today, but and by the time you want to the, add the, more, the, the ten are not working, <laughs> and you have to buy another ten, and you are only having ten after when you have gotten twenty. So these are things that we need to consider. Along the line, but that notwithstanding, we have enough. I've said to myself, this is out of um, that's my own thinking now. Yes, if we have to go the way of the West, where every area you are using robots, every area you are using computer, yes, every area you are using this, then you will not get job for people. Mm. Mm. Unemployment. For unemployment. Economy, without, yes. Now we are talking about challenges of un unemployment. It will even skyrocket when you have when you go into artificial social. intelligence. After, and robotics. If, you, if, you, if you have to, to get to, you want to in the petrol stations overseas, you just go there and, and press and serve yourself and go. The petrol attendants, everybody will not have will not have, will not have job to do again. So we need to also consider those things because of our environment. Okay. Now, now that you have uh, pointed that out. Because uh, the next question, again, is the fact that, uh, so how are we retraining the personnel who are in charge of maintenance of laws and orders in our community? Because you are directly oh, involved oh, in that oh, now. Oh, oh, so, oh. so are we now looking at how they are also becoming techie savvy? Oh, fine. Let me say this. It's not everything that is brought to the fore of the media in many situations. Sometimes we are doing a program and um, it's an internal program. Well, maybe for the information of um, the citizens, you may need to share some, and yes. share some. As we speak, the old police hierarchy, as we speak now, right from the Inspector General of Police to Deputy Inspector General of Police, Assistant Inspector General of Police, 
commissioners of police. And some this is strategic um, um, security is, yes. uh, in the police Hierarchy, structure. Yes. They are converging in Akwaibo for a two days retreat to re strategize, to plan, to train, to redevelop, to think about how can they police this country better. Mm. That's commendable. Commendable. Let me give you another one. Sometimes last year, our own PCRC, yes. which is just a supportive role, playing a supportive role to the police in the community, yes. looked at the manpower of the police, especially in Lagos, and we said, when you pick police to solve yeah. domestic problems, husband and wife are fighting, you come to the police station, somebody collects your money, you come and to the police be. station, somebody steals your money, you come to the police station. Somebody borrow, I uh, give a, la a house as a, a, a rent out from rents an apartment from you. He refuses to pay. You come to the police station. We're not talking of robbery. We're not talking of serious criminal matters. There is traffic. You come to the police station. This, 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 uh, the, you, police has to get involved. They have to manage traffic. And we said the load on the police is high. They are going to share themselves into all these areas. Why can't we come in? They, we have a lot, a, a good number of Peace House members. Train ourselves mm. in the area of basic one, traffic management, management and control. And we went to police college, Lagos State uh, um, Ikeja, yes. police college Ikeja, yeah, yeah. and had two days training on traffic management and control. And we distributed ourselves into various divisions in Lagos to support the police when they need manpower. That's part of training. We didn't come to the to to, the NTA media. to say to that we are doing that. training, to announce that. This is a part of the training that we are doing. Several times we bring police, police, police organize organizes even weekly briefing, like training. The for DPOs, members of uh, for police officers on weekly basis. It may not be a formal training. We call it briefing. It could be a way of saying these are things that you need to know. These are things like orientation. These are things, these are the happenings now. These are part of training. Continuous effort by the police and the police hierarchy to re strategize, to train, to inform their members on how to police for efficiency and for effectiveness. Okay, um, that is commendable. We must say that, um, that uh, I mean, the Nigerian police has taken that initiative of remodeling, okay, their capacity to be able to, you know, handle uh, security matters. Now, one thing that we cannot uh, run away from would be the fact that, uh, th which is actually across the broad in Nigeria, and that's about information. So, do we keep sufficient data on security breaches? Do we keep security enough data on uh, infractions? Do we, I mean, I'm saying, do we have a data bank on what is happening, criminal you know, oh. uh, tendencies, oh. we, and what we have done to ameliorate some of these things? Uh, very, very, that's a very, very important part of security. Um, a criminal is arrested. Yes, for instance. For instance, and you need to take his bio data. Yes. Fingerprints, yes, facials, um, facials, and all those things. I store somewhere and uh, keep. Sometimes maybe it's released for lack of evidences and things like that. And we have another situation. You can go there and recall and see if it fits into the same person. <laughs> now do we have that here? Yes, that's a question. That's a big question. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, the police acquired some equipment for that particular data process. Yes. Data. But I can tell you authoritatively that for such, you need to have as many. We have 14 area commands in Lagos. Hmm. In Ogun State, maybe 10. Hmm. In Abuja, maybe another, another, another 7 or 8. They are supposed to be domicile 
in almost all area commands, even almost all divisions. But probably in the ideal situation, I the ideal situation, yes. ideal situation. But to the best of my knowledge, maybe what we have now could be just few across the, across the country. It has to do with the fund available to them, fund available to procure some of these things. Yes, maybe they have when they have information, they send it to the central data. Yes. For now, but um, for effective data management. management, we may not have that as a moment. But of course, there's no hope lost. We can gradually get to that. Okay, well, uh, thank you for that, for giving us the, you know, opt optimism. But uh, the, the issue now will be the fact that some people are saying that, uh, uh, well, the comment that we are getting from some people is that uh, the funding of the police is also being politicized. Um, in which case the police is not properly funded and therefore the police cannot do the work and therefore the, 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 the community or the citizens are becoming uh, like, um, are becoming servile because they are, everybody is at risk. You, you don't know where to fall to, you don't know where to run to. You so how do you react funding, to that? Funding the police. Yes. Yeah, funding, that, is, that has been politicized. Funding the police is um, politicized. Well, do I say politicized? Politicize that? Well, maybe that is the word because the political class are the one to release the fund, to allocate the fund. So it has to be politicized. If you are put funding the police under the armpits of the Senate, who will yes, they are yes, the political class. Yes. So they are the one to decide to allocate, to allocate it. So it, it, it is not, it's not a, if, if it's a percentage, if it's appropriation. Yes. That you said, okay, to fund the security, a particular value should, be set, should be set on this different thing. So they do, it cannot be police. But a situation where Senate as Minister of um, Police Affairs yes. will have to present uh, something and uh, is, uh, and, uh, and uh, appeal and appeal and lobby and whatever, well, how will it not be politicized? So it is, but then, but then there's also hope. Maybe because I'm a, I'm a pastor. I always believe there is hope. The hope is this. If you go on the street of, let me put, I, uh, this is a national program, but let me just say Lagos yes. for the purpose of this discussion. Or Ogun State, or Nasrawa State. I don't know, I'm not sure of uh, Nasrawa State. But let me take Lagos as a case study in yes. this matter. You will find out that if the police or those policing actors. I don't want to use police alone now, or because of what I want to say. Yes. The policing actors. Yes. The police, the army, yes. the civil defense, yes. the navy, yes. um, um, and some other organizations um, that are within the policing ambit. Yes. Um, you have um, LASMA. Yes. They are policing actors. Yes. Most of the vehicles they use, let's use vehicles hmm. as an infrastructure. Hmm. You will see at the back of the vehicle, at the rear part of the vehicle, yes. um, donated by Lagos State Security, Security Fund. Trust Fund. Fund. Now, Lagos State Security Trust Fund is not an allocation by the political class. It is you and I in the structure of the structure of the society that of the banks, the, the corporate bodies, the individuals, yes. the, comp the, 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 the concerned the, citizens, the CDAs, the CDAs, the concerned citizens of this nation that feels that security must be available. They provide these funds and they use it to provide not only vehicles, including other infrastructure, other infrastructures the police would need, hmm. bulletproof vests, as, and many others, and even training, oh. providing training. Now, there's a replica of that at the federal level, which is already having issues. I think River State took um, federal government to court that yeah. they, cannot collect, uh, they cannot take fund from, which says a particular percentage of a particular fund from, should be put together to fund the policing actors too. That issue, that issue, I don't know how the extent at which it has gone now. But some states are, uh, is it not Ogun states? Yes. Ogun states recently, uh, either Ogun states, yes, Ogun states recently, 
that just donated large fleets of vehicles to the army. So, funding the police, they are saying, for, look at government are providing. Citizens are providing. Peace out, see, we are providing for the police. So, it's, it's, it's to show that the whole society Should must collaborate wake up, on this. collaborate with the government, collaborate with, the, with all the organizations to make sure that we support, we fund the police to the best of our ability. Okay, well, um, it, it's important for us to look at how that uh, collaboration, that cooperation, that, uh, as it were, coexistence is going to help us to actually secure and make our environment safer. Now, I must again commend uh, the chairman of the Lagos uh, State Police Community Relations Committee, the PCRC, you know, I've told you he's my brother. Now you can see that that brotherliness is actually bringing out the best of what he has for us on this show today. But um, I'm not done with him yet because he's answerable to you and I, and probably even answerable to himself too, because this conversation is about you. So you are going to call us, you're going to text us, and you are going to inv uh, also interrogate him. Yes, he's his chairman mm -hmm. of PC House. So uh, first thing, yes, you know, <laughs> ask him the all your questions you want to ask the police, please ask him. Now, another issue, uh, Apostle, another issue on the table, on the, on the front burner, is about the question of why are we not engaging for our security you know, management, whistleblowers, volunteers, and, you know, that, like, that, like we have in, it, in the, the developed nations. We have people can actually help you to provide information on what is happening in the community. And we have that. We have that. that that's what I said. Um, maybe we need to discuss with um, um, the public relations department of the police to come out more, to engage the public. Um, to share information. To share information. There's many of these things that are, that are already in place. Even the police community relations committee that we are talking about, which I belong to, is part of the voluntary organizations Voluntary groups. We are, we are not employed by the police. We are not employed by the government. We are just from the community, from various uh, communities, from um, uh, doing our own businesses and feels that conscious of our, um, mm. our environment mm. and coming together, bringing our money, bringing our time, bringing our intelli uh, intellect. Uh, intellect, bringing everything that we are on the table to support in security matters. And I just mentioned to you in this discussion that we even brought some people together to leave when they leave their offices. They come in the evening to come and join the police and manage traffic in their community. Is that volunteer? They are volunteers. There is this um, 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 this constant uh, uh, constabulary that yes, the police yes. started, yes. which they are into it now, which they launched, is in all the states of the federation. We had the um, um, individuals, where people are brought into the police, they wear police uniform. They are volunteers. They are not being paid. They are not being paid. They are volunteers. They are just concerned citizens who are given their to time. Give and to give information within the community to the police, to help the police manage security in that environment, to tell the police this is happening here, hmm. this, is like, this is what you can hmm. do, um, hmm. we have challenges of this, we have challenges of that, and support the police. These are, in, all these are, are there. We have a couple of... I've mentioned Peace House, I've mentioned Peace House, and there are other agencies who are supporting, who are, supporting, who are complementing the effort of the police. What is last man doing? Last man, of course, they are being paid in Lagos. Yes. You have, um, in Ogu State, you have um, um, a, a trust, a, yes. I think you call them trace. Yes. And you have it, you have it in all other places. Volunteers, or those who are even played, Complementary, uh, complementary effort of the police, and I can tell you they're doing fantastically well. They're doing extremely well, and this is one of those things that I can see. Maybe we'll be talking about um, challenges that we're having because we're here. Challenges in other places, even in those advanced countries, are even much more than what we have. When you talk about security, people are being killed on mm. daily basis. Mm. Mm. Go to the street of um, Amadou Bello Way. You hardly find a policeman on the road. <laughs> and you're, you're, nobody has stopped you and collect your, your money. Or your phone. Or your phone. And yeah. you're going free. Where is the you street of New York? In New York, somebody will just show something you and collect your and go. So we are doing well here. But of course, because we are here, 
because of little things that we are seeing, we say, oh, heaven is falling. Heaven is not falling. All right. Well, uh, that's uh, your apostle for you there. He's trying to let us understand that, uh, yes, it's looking a little bit uh, questionable. But as a matter of fact, we have a sense of security, a sense of safety. Particularly when you look at what PCRC is doing, collaborating, supporting, and providing, you know, the kind of uh, expertise that Nigerian police may not even be able to pay for because of funding. We will come back to that. We'll take a break now, and when we come back, like we said to you, the conversation is about you. You have to remember what uh, Apostle told us. Security is everyone's business. He's not a policeman. I told you he's an apostle. He's a water engineer. He has a master's degree, so he can actually, you know, provide other solutions. But he has chosen to volunteer his time, his expertise, and his knowledge to support what policing the community is all about. So stay with us and let's have your questions or your comments. Hey beautiful, your eyes, your smile are all begging me to take you home tonight. Now reading page three. <laughs> Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. Experience unlimited super fast internet access from Intel 4G. Intel, live more. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, obviously, I have uh, Apostle Shua Mimo in the house. I told you he's my brother. Now you can see the element of the brotherliness we are talking about because uh, he just betrayed his passion about how you yourself should be, should be conscious of how to secure and how to be safe in your community. That's what we're looking at today. We are looking at uh, citizenship, we are looking at development, and we're looking at security. And he has already given us, well, don't let me, don't let me answer for him, please. You should query him so that he can tell us. Okay, so can you give us some milestones that the PCRC, from your own experience, the milestones that PCRC at least in Lagos State, I'm not saying no, go no, around no, the country. No, 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 no. Yes. Even, around Just the, even, have even, even around the country. Let me start with this. Sometimes in the, some years back, um, as far back as um, maybe 2007, 8, the Peace House looked at if a, 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 a policeman dies on duty, what does he get? He finds a peanut. There's no motivation. And that is what is in the book. That's what is in the book. There's nothing anybody can do about that. Hmm. And we said we wanted to start an insurance scheme for the for police, police. For the police. That if you die, this is what you get. And we started that. And when we started that, the, 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 the government now saw that there's need for them to change the structure, to change what is uh, the entitlement of um, policemen who are on duty on duties who has issues. And they took it over and they started doing it. That's a milestone. That's a master. That's one. Two, I just mentioned to you, we looked at the manpower. We've seen, we are motivated by some people that are even handicapped on the streets that can stay somewhere and control traffic. I felt if a handicapped person can, can do, do this, this, why can't we come in and assist? If you have 22, 200 poli 100 policemen in the station, or policemen in the station, and um, you can provide another 30 or 40 volunteers to support. To complement. To complement. And you say these volunteers are only for traffic. So they, do, they only need to bring maybe two or three. Two or three or four or five to join them and manage traffic in that area and move the remaining to other areas that require manpower of the police. As a milestone. We are saw a, a need. I was in the station sometimes ago. 
Let me give an instance. And I was, and somebody came to the station. Reality. Yes. I'm not saying, I'm not praying. Yes. I'm not cracking yes. a joke. Yes. And a lady said, please, somebody came to my, my company. Is this face here? Um, face me, face you. Tenant, uh, ten, tenant, Rented. Uh, um, um, face me. Yes. And said, please, police, I came to report a situation. Somebody looked at me and he, and he, and he, and he did like this. And the police should come and arrest the person because it meant something. It meant something. I was in the office of area commander of a station. When that report came in. And I, another, I'm talking about, I'm making, I'm making another person. And they were trying to settle husband and wife in the station that were already kicking themselves or whatever. Now, what am I going to, going to bring out? What we, 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 the peace house now said, my, asking for my story. Yes. There's a citizen meditation center under means of justice. Yes. Where the two um, ADR, alternative disputes resolutions. resolutions. We can train some elderly people or some learned people within the peace house. Go to that place, do some training, and come back to the station, when you have some minor cases that are not criminal, there's a CRO called Conflict Resolution Officers yes. in these stations. Just need one person who is a police person to be with them. They can cancel. They can settle matters. They don't need to go to court. <laughs> These are milestones of things that we think we can do. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, let me quickly uh, get back to our viewers because the conversation is all about all of us here across Nigeria and probably even in the diaspora. Let's have the numbers, please, my producer. Let's have the numbers so that they can be part of this conversation. Um, we have numbers dedicated. If you want to make a telephone call, then use the numbers indicated as telephone calls. Then if you are going to send us a message, either WhatsApp or SMS, then use the number dedicated for that. If you can, please put the number on the screen. So, uh, uh, hello, I think... Uh, uh, okay, okay, that's a message. Let's quickly look, look at this. This one says, uh, thank you for your time. Knowing that there is no security without grass development, with the grassroots development, what steps are you taking to effectively engage the youth in the division of NPD, this Raphael. Oh, fantastic, Raphael. That's a fantastic question. So we find out of more, um, a good percentage of crime being committed is by the youth. Exactly. And um, the police, the Peace House hierarchy, sometimes last year decided that we should have a youth wing of the police of the Peace House. So we just established the youth wing of the of the Peace House in all um, states of the Federation. Beautiful. Such that we can engage the police, we can engage, uh, engage the police and the community, the youth. Let me say this, during the NSAS program, during the NSAS program, yes. we saw the need to engage the youth. And we brought some of the youth to come and meet the CP and have discussions and say, look, youth come, what do you need? We are the umpire. We stay, the police are here. Let's discuss, let's engage. Just last year, the State Ministry of Youth and, and sports, sports development, sport development yes. had police engagement with the youth at LTV um, Pavilion. We were there. We were, we were part of that engagement. So we have youth wing of peace housing now, or youth committee of youth peace housing now, that were planning so much engagement engagement with the youth at every. We, let me give you another instance. We brought football, 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 um, football uh, games. Police and the youth to play together in the community. We are doing that, and so are the things we want. To, we want to make sure that the youth engage, are positively uh, engage with the policing actors, so that they, there can be flow of information. They can see their thinking. The youth can also realize how the police is policing that are not comfortable to them. Can can, so can speak up. Of, okay, speak. all right. Um, that that is, we must say that is commendable. That came from Raphael. Now, uh, uh, now, okay. Um, the use of technology in security development will never cause unemployment. Rather than that, it's going to be an enabler to better security service 
uh, like intelligence gathering, live scene of incident from CCTV to foster investigation. This is coming from, um, I don't have the name there, I think it's still the same, Raphael. So he's saying that uh, it, it disagree with your opinion. No, it's, it's, it depends on the angle at which we're looking at it. What I'm, I'm not saying, of course you're using um, closed circuits, don't consider unemployment, you sit somewhere and you can monitor what is happening somewhere. Um, you are using radio, radio contact, you are using, you have just mentioned of data, Connections, yes. you have data, you have fingerprints. Yes. These are things that you have. You are using drones. Yes, you are using drones to get there. These are things that can that, that we can. But what I'm saying that there are some things. Let me just mention that there are some things that are in advanced countries that are taken away from manual, from manual operations. Yes, and they are automated. They are automated. Let me give you an instance. It may not be. It may be. It may be, it may be they use robots in so many things, in the verses. Yes. It's a part of technology. Even at the toll gate, right? Yes. You, you can monitor, you can... What I'm saying is that there are some things that have been, uh, that could be manually, that will evolve human beings to do, that if you transfer that because of technology, in our own system here, it will cause unemployment. But that's not an issue yes. to argue about. We believe, and I've said it here, that we must gradually, gradually move to that, stage. Uh, to that stage. Of course, Rome is not built in a day. We can't do technology. We must involve in technology. We must do technology. It's, that's what we are now. Because that's where the future is. That's where the future is. And we want to use this opportunity to tell our youths that that's, are engaged. That's a camera. Yes. We want to tell our youths that are engaging in um, Yahoo or whatever, which is technology driven, <laughs> that they should channel that more into advancing better society for us. Advancing security, go and develop, go and develop application that will assist and serve. Not Yahoo, not taking somebody's sweat and somebody's money. Let our youth engage more in security, in, in the, um, technology that can bring positive development to our nation. Okay, now that's again is, um, is uh, okay. We have a, we have a, hello, hello, M Maxwell. Hello, can you hear us? Maxo, please, can you speak up? Hello? We can't hear you here in the studio. Hello? Oh, I think we have lost him again. Okay, if you cannot get through to us, please, with the telephone chat, can you please text us so that uh, uh, Apostle can quickly respond, just like he responded to Raphael's uh, opinion. Now, um, another issue on the table here again, where the future is, because you have just hinted at that now. So, oh, okay, the call, we lost the call again. All right, please try again, uh, Ma uh, Maxwell, or just send us an SMS. The future that we're looking at right now, you have just given us a hint, okay? So, social consciousness, we are having a series of uh, waves of kidnappings on the highways, we are having uh, ritual killings, we are having all sorts of uh, criminality, just like it's like now the, the in thing. If you want to earn money, go and kidnap somebody. If you, <laughs> yes, I, yes. It, it, don't you think that is a little bit? Uh, it's very disturbing. It's very, it's worrisome that we're having this. It's very, very disturbing. And uh, um, yeah, these are things that were not part of a uh, system for. And why is more worrisome is because um, it's being engaged by even younger ones. Yes, younger, very young chaps. Trying to, I think it's a fallout from the challenge. Bad economic challenge. No, bad parental. Hmm. It starts hmm. from bad parenting. Bad, bad, bad parenting. People care. People don't care for their children <laughs> anymore. They go anymore. They go out and do whatever. They you cannot. This is bad. First of all, it's bad parenting. They are coming from various homes, and you can see a, a boy of eighteen who was. Then two people are being influenced by the. But our society, we tend to portray somebody who is rich as if he's, uh, he's the one God, the God. Is, is somebody favored by God. And of course, riches and comes from God, blessings comes from God. But then we don't even know the source of um, the wealth, of the wealth and uh, and uh, we, we 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 give them honesty, um, publicity. Uh, publicity, and tends to people tends to go to that. We try to put everything on money. 
this, this. If you don't have money, you can do anything. And it cascades down to the youth. Cascades down to... So it's very worrisome. Kidnapping, ritual killings. And you, know, you, you know that... You know, him. You do know that it's very... Trub um, um, it's heart, heart, heartbreaking for, for you. For us to imagine that... Somebody who can take his or sibling <laughs> for rituals. <laughs> You're not even talking of somebody that you don't know. That you don't know. Sibling. Your younger brother. Pray the, pray, uh, mother. Yes. Mo taking, uh, taking a child. A, a mother. Your mother. Yes. Also. It's worrisome. So I think it's the society. I, we are not talking about the police now. It's, it's, it's the society. The society must, must, we that are clergy people. Yes. In for instance, for yes, instance, yes. we should start to let me give you this. Yesterday, I go to the church. I have a congregation close to, to um, one thousand five that are youths. I'm the deputy shepherd there, and uh, my shepherd discussed with. Me. I said, "Look, this is disturbing to me. What can we do? Let's take some thirty minutes off, talk about this." To these people. Address it. Address, address it. it. Mm. We're not talking about Psalms now. We're not talking about Bible. <laughs> we're not talking about this. Let's address this. And we did that. And we address it. And tell them that, look, not only that you go to hell, you start your hell from this yeah. world. If you get yourself involved in Yahoo, Yahoo Plus, and Yahoo Plus, 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 get yourself in ritual cleaning, you cannot benefit anything from it. It's going to be a marriage for you. Mm. So we need to. Mm continue to sensitize the society and when you see when you see your neighbor 18 year old boy driving a very Lexus. expensive bank and you cannot question it you cannot inform people and you feel god has uh, he, blessed he, he, god has uh, blessed him what is what is he doing to do that so all these are things a societal challenge and i think we must all come up before it consumes us we must all come up to see what we can do. And of course, the judiciary wants to see that. Okay, yes, now that you've raised that, let's also come to administration of justice. Because again, that seems to be yet another question mark about the capacity, uh, political capacity, political consciousness, and leadership, you know, responsibility in Nigeria. We are saying that uh, impunity seems to be the common phrase. Uh, crimes are committed, criminals are identified and you know brought before the court or before you know it um, nothing happens so money is stolen this thief is caught the thief is placed before the the, the, the court and before before you know it because say your prince the person is back so let me give a case we thank god this has been resolved to some extent now before now yes if you belong to the courts and you are carrying cutlass about, you know, and on the street breaking, or you are even caught as member of the court, and you are taken to court. Yes. The only thing that you can be charged for is unlawful gathering. Six months imprisonment. Constitutionally? So constitutionally. So you see police struggling to get court members, taking them to court, mm. and after Maybe they arrest them, they stay some Gates. two months, mm. and after some time, they are back in the society because it's unlawful gathering. Until we wanted to present a bill to the Lagos State House of Assembly, but thank God, the Lagos State the Police had, they brought a bill up and said, Look, we can't continue like this. this. Let's bring a bill. The Lagos State Government brought a bill up, and the bill says you go for, I think, 25 years or 21 years. Even the house, even the parents now, of a court is to go for three months. Uh, three they are culpable. They are culpable. So, you can see that courtism has subsided in Lagos to certain extent. Yes. And that is being replicated in other uh, parts of the yes, state. Yes. Or other part, part, part of, of the, of the country. country. So, the administration of justice, it is very important in security. If you are, if I know that if I'm committing this between, you go to Saudi Arabia and you do carry cocaine to the place and you are caught, between a short time you'll be killed now. But somebody who has killed, you can see King is still there. Um, I think Reverend King. Yes. I was shocked. I was reading something recently in the paper. Where they, I mean, the paper or uh, social media 
when they said Evans is even saying that uh, he didn't do that again. <laughs> you, you imagine, with all the things police try to do to arrest the man, bring him to court, this, that, he's not happy to say, oh, no, they are, they are lying. Because if it has been, if justice has been we done long, yes. ago, he, long he, ago, he will not have that opportunity. And that gives us that impetus, mm. encouragement mm. to say, what will happen? They will keep me there after a while. I will come out. I will come out. So the area of dispensing justice is very paramount. It's very important in security um, um, to make uh, in making sure that security uh, uh, is well 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 placed. Okay, well, we, we, we are still going to come back to him to find out how P PCLC has been able to, well, alert the police to the fact that if, um, if uh, criminal uh, administration of justice is not uh, keenly uh, uh, managed, then it may actually become a problem psychologically in the public space. Now, we have the Ratis in our house and some roaming around our premises. The Ratis in our... Uh, I don't know who that... Somebody's trying to reach us from somewhere. I think we lost the message. Okay, we'll try and get it back. Hmm. Now, so, for instance, now, that is just an alert coming from a, a, a viewer. Do we have such opportunity in the police? Can they, can they, yes, do they have yeah. an emergency line? Do yes, they have yes, a, that's the, a, a that, quick response line? That is, um, as I speak, if I'm not mistaken, there are four centers in Lagos. Uh, I don't want to really emphasize Lagos. Um, there are 1,000 emergency lines that are available, telephone lines, GC, GSM, that you can call. In case of emergency. emergency. And get response. You can be sure of that. They are everywhere. They are always available for us. But besides that, um, we are trying, they are already in place. We are trying to make, Peace House is trying to resuscitate telephone lines in each of the stations in this federation that wow. are that are domicile it's not for the dpo now yes it is for the it's on the station yes it's on the at the charge room it's going to be at the charge room some of them are already in place they're going to be at the charge room they are for these boxes there are gsm lines of course in the box yes in which when you call those numbers that their boxes are rechargeable um they have lights they can recharge it for a while if they have generator they can Continuously recharge. We are directing our peace house members to um, to make sure that those numbers, no, those numbers and those phones are always on for any. If you need to pay for recharging or whatever, such that if I can, I, all the communities, all the members of the communities can know the number of that station off head, off head, and say for Victoria Island Police Station, we have this number. And when we call this number, it's Victoria Island that will pick it. And not Kushafe. And not Kushafe. So we're trying to do that. Before a short time, they are already, in, some of them are in place, but some of them are not working. But recently, we are working out um, modalities. Uh, I think they were I, 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 I presented by uh, um, uh, Lagos State Trust, uh, uh, Security Security Trust, Trust Fund. Fund yes. But of course, some of them are not uh, doing well now. And we'll see what we can do to resuscitate it. And of course, in replicate that in all the parts of the country. Okay, now that would be commendable if that is uh, operational, and that is what uh, we are hearing again from the chairman of the Lagos State Police Community Relations Committee, Apostle Kenny Shuamimo. Now, the important thing again, I don't know if my uh, viewers, if you still have your lines, so you can then you know send your SMS or WhatsApp messages to uh, the chairman so that they can quickly you know, respond before we, uh, we, we let him go. Okay, now... One thing again that I want to ask you personally, um, you have been doing this now for over a decade. You have been involved in all this business. Decades? Yes. Two, 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 three decades. Yes. So now, um, is it not discouraging that after 30 years, we are still saying the same, we are we're going around oh, in listen. circles? We're not going around in circles, we are improving. No, it's not discouraging. We are improving seriously. I can tell you that. I've just mentioned um, traffic. Involvement Management, of, for instance. I just talked about ADR. I just talked about uh, telephone. I just talked about... So we're improving. I'm not saying we're going through... No, I won't believe that we're going through... Uh, we're going we around have, circles. We're, we're not going through around circles. We have, the, 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 the improvement may not be from our own point of judgment. Of course, it's relative. It may not be from the, our own point of judgment to say that, 
okay, we want to have been to at this point, we're not there yet. Yet. But we're not, we are going to get there, as I said. We're going to get there gradually. Let's keep hope alive, as you say. Let's keep hope alive. But let's play our role. Let's individual play his or our role where it is required. <laughs> Look, we, and stop pointing fingers. We, and stop pointing fingers. You saw a situation that is bad. Rather than you to make contact or to even send or even call, uh, how many people ask people, how many of them even do no numbers to call? Hmm. And they are always in, on the TV, everywhere that you should call. So my position is that the CDAs, the communities, we are going to engage more this year. That's one of those things. We're going to engage more this year. We're going to sensitize more this year. We're even bringing women on board. Mm -hmm. We're bringing women on board. Uh, doing, um, bringing people, market women, um, uh, so many organizations into so, it. So that the community can get involved in their policing structure, architecture of the environment. Such that you feel you want to belong. You want to give information to the police. You know who to give to. It's not that even if you, you may not even mention your name. Yeah. You may not even mention your name. It's not that uh, they will tell me uh, you, this is happening. I'm facts. I'm facts. I'm facts. No rumors. No rumors. Okay. All right. Um, Apostle Show Um I've said to you that's my brother. Yes. Uh, but I, I have to let him go. Otherwise, if I don't let him go, his passion, he will keep us here till tomorrow. Because he's very, very he's very concerned about how, how safe and secure we are in our communities. Thank you so much, Apostle, for thank coming Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Yes. Okay. Really we are going to get to you again. Uh, by the time we have more information about how secured or how secured or how threatened. We pray by the time we are coming back, um, we will have moved forward. Much, much, much forward. Okay. All right. So let's uh, keep the optimism going. He's saying to us that uh, we will keep the conversation running. And uh, next time, we will have more commendable things to say about PCRC and security in Nigeria. The conversation is not over with us. Just go to our social media handles and let's have your opinions that you could express here on that uh, upload of what uh, Apostle has done for us here. So until next week, it is bye from us.